Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Hot Fire MTG. I know it's been like a week, week and a half since we've put out a video, but I am here to do a Theros Beyond Death ranked draft in MTG Arena. This is my first time doing a draft in Arena of THB. Uh, I've done a couple paper drafts, but I have not done one in Arena yet. So let's get right into this. Let's go. Uh, wow. Okay, right off the bat, pack one. We've got a Mythic, Calyx, Destiny's Hand. Uh, I pulled one of these in one of the pre-releases and uh, had enough in green-white to go with uh, an Enchantments Matter deck. And it was sweet. It performed really, really well. Um, just going to see what else we got here. Soul Guide Lantern, no. The Scophos Maze Warden. Um, what else we got? Any good... Any decent commons? This pack is actually kind of weak. Ichthyomorphosis is obviously great in blue. Um, otherwise, though, I don't love this. Thrill of Possibilities okay in red, but I think I'm going to take the Calyx. Um, whether we end up <clears throat> in a Selesnya Enchantments deck is, uh, is to be determined, but I'm going to take it. Screw it. It's a mythic. Let's see what happens. Uh, so here we've got uh, we've got a shoal kraken in uh, in blue uncommon pretty good clothis design all creatures you control get plus x plus x rex is your devotion of green pretty good uh, six drop though kind of pricey staggering insight is obviously phenomenal card omen of the sun uh, is one of the better omens I think witness of tomorrow's is quite is tomorrow is quite good vexing gull is quite good. Um, Fereka's Libation, not bad, and I like the Moss Viper, just a one drop, one one death touch, can't go wrong with it, right? Um, Grim Physician's okay too, in black, if you're going to be in black. Uh, hmm, maybe you take the Vexing Gull, I like the Vexing Gull, maybe take the Staggering Insight though, it's probably better. Um, obviously Cloth is design, if you can put together a, a uh, stompy deck with a bunch of big green creatures that could be a phenomenal finisher but i think i'm gonna just take the staggering insight and uh see what happens um the glory bears is an enchantment <clears throat> in white if we were to try and push for uh, it's Selesnya enchantments. Whenever another creature you control attacks, it gets full of souls. It's not that great though. I'm gonna take the staggering insight. I don't know why I thought about it for so long. Pretty good card. I think here, Underworld Rage Hound is a very good card. Um, Return to Nature, phenomenal in this set. Obviously, Warbriar Blessing is really, really good too. A couple of really good green cards. I think I take the Entrancing Liar though. Yeah, the Entrancing Liar is fantastic in any deck, obviously. Some other good cards, though. The Rage Hound and Return to Nature and the Warbriar Blessing. I like all of them. But I think I'm going to take the Entrancing Liar. Just a phenomenal card. So, ooh, we got a Phalanx Tactics. Um, what else we got here? Uh, another Glory Bears. Stinging Lionfish. <clears throat> obviously wants you to be in an Is It... Um, Casting spells on your opponent's turn matter kind of deck. I don't know if there's a better name for that. <laughs> um, Chain to Memory is okay. I think I take the tactics, the Phalanx tactics. Right now we've got two multicolored cards. Both have white in them. So, and the Phalanx tactics is just fantastic. Yeah, I'm going to take that. So, really don't know where this is heading yet, but it's early. Um,. Omen of the Hunt is very good. Again, another Ichthyomorphosis. Uh, red seems to be open here. I mean, it's early, um, but a couple good. Impending Doom. Um, Impending Doom is pretty good. Impending Doom is pretty good. Um, Aspect of Manticore is okay. It has Flash, which is decent. Hero of the Games. Good with Phalanx Tactics. Obviously, if you can put together a bunch of heroes with stuff like Phalanx Tactics, that's just awesome. Um, Lonesome Chimera is not bad, too. I 
think, hmm, this is a tough one. Do we take the hero? Do we take the ichthyomorphosis? Maybe we go the ichthyomorphosis. Decent removal. I don't know. Red looks red. I feel like I should be jumping into red here, though. Maybe we put together a Boros, Boros heroes. But do we take the impending doom? Three damage to that creature's controller. I'm going to take the impending doom. Let's see. That might be a mistake, but I'm going to take it. Uh, so here, pack six. Okay. Um, Clothus design is still in there. The Riptide Turtle is really good. Uh, Flicker of Fate can be phenomenal in white. Uh, Temple Thief is very good. Um, a lot of enchantment creatures, so especially if you could buff it, uh, it can often swing um, unblockable. Maybe I take the Flicker here or the Riptide Turtle. I like both of them. Do we have any ETB matters at this point? We do not. So I'm going to take the turtle. Take the turtle or the flicker? I'm going to take the turtle. I like it better. Here, what do we got? Oh, we got another. So another hero of the games. Um, I'm not going to take the whirlwind denial. Wolf Willow Haven. Armor chain is linked tap for mana. Its controller adds an additional green. Sack it, create a wolf. Um, not terrible, but not great. Maybe the triumphant surge. We got another aspect of Manticore. Maybe take the hero games in case we do end up in some kind of some kind of Boros heroes kind of deck, which I have drafted before in at my LGS in paper and it was awesome it, it worked pretty well it was fun if you can get together a bunch of the heroes uh it can just go off and just be insane let's take the hero another flicker we've got another transcendent envoy uh or at a mountain's blaze is not bad not bad at all a one three for two that lets you loot later on um Maybe take the Flicker or the Transcendent Envoy. Transcendent Envoy is... At this point, it's not looking like we're going to end up in an Enchantments Matter deck, but... Stern Dismissal is pretty good. Maybe we take the Oread of Mountain's Blaze. It's <clears> a <throat> tough one. Uh... Maybe take the flicker. Uh, yeah, I'm going to take the flicker. Let's see. Maybe we'll get something that we can make it work with. Because you can put together some fun shenanigans with it. Uh, Elite Instructor, Starlit Mantle, Rumbling Sentry. I don't like Rumbling Sentry. Don't care for Inspire Awe. Uh, Plummet's okay. Throw the possibility. Discard a card, draw two cards. Throw the possibility is not bad. I really have no idea where we're going at this point. <laughs> Elite Instructor is also not terrible. All right, what do we got at this point? Maybe we take the Starlit Mantle. Um, Shoal Krakens. We're on to pack ten. Moss Vipers still here, which is interesting. Uh, we got the Omen of the Sun, which I like. I might take the Omen of the Sun. Draw a card if you do. Discard a card. Shoal Kraken's not actually that bad. Draw a card if you do. Discard a card. I'm going to take the Omen. I like the Moss Viper too, but I don't think we're going to end up in green at this point. It's not looking good. Oh man, yeah. Wow, wow. Look at all these. All this red. Holy crap. Uh, so I think we take the Underworld Rage Hound over the Thrill of Possibility. Yeah, we're taking the Underworld Rage Hound. And there's a Thrill of Possibility. So where are we going with this? Boros, maybe? Um, maybe is it Flash? <sighs> Stinging Lionfish obviously plays well into... Is it Flash? When you cast your first spell during 
each opponent's turn, you may tap or untap a non-land permanent. I think I'm going to take the Thrill of Possibility. Yeah, I'm going to take the Thrill of Possibility. And here, gains first strike, so combat trick. So again, is it flash? Maybe I take the hero of the games, though. If we can get, I've already got one, so we can put together some heroes. Uh, yeah, let's take the hero of the games. Satyr's Cunning. Okay, not great. I, in fact, I'm probably just going to sideboard that right away. Wow, we've got an Arasta. Uh, and a Banishing Light, and a Daybreak Chimera. And a Drag to the Underworld. Carrot Metro's Blessing is pretty good. Myers Grasp is pretty good. Uh, another hero of the games. This is a good pack. It's a good pack. Drag to the Underworld, a Banishing Light, a Daybreak Chimera. Uh, some of the best limited cards. And the Arasta is really, really good. Uh, I think I, I think I have to take the Banishing Light or the Chimera. If we end up in Boros, the Chimera is fantastic. I'm going to take the Banishing Light, though, I think. Banishing Light, Daybreak Chimera. Daybreak, Daybreak Chimera is common. Maybe we can get, still get another one of those. I'm going to take the Banishing Light. Ugh. Uh, and there's a Chimera, Beauty, and a Daxos. Um, Pious Wayfarer. No, Pious Wayfarer is just okay. Um, Rapid Flames is really good if we end up in a Boros Heroes kind of build. Rapid Flames is very, very good. Venomous Hierophant's a good card. We're not going black. We don't have any black at this point. So I think they take the Chimera here. I think I take the Daybreak Chimera. Dawn Evangel. When a creature dies, if an aura uh, return to a creature, go oh, yeah. So you just get some creature back when uh, an enchanted creature dies. Uh, I think I have to take the Chimera. Yeah, let's take the Chimera. And there's another Daxos. Uh, and there's a Wrap in Flames. Oh, do I take the Daxos or the Wrap in Flames? Rapid Flames is great because you can target your own hero with it and um, give it give all your creatures plus one plus oh. You could target multiple heroes in theory because you can do one damage to each of up to three target creatures. So you could make one of your opponent's creatures unable to block and target two of your heroes or just target all of your own heroes if you have like three heroes out. Ashiok's Erasure. Exile target spell. Your opponents can't cast spells with the same name as the exiled card. When it leaves the battlefield, return exiled card to its owner's hand. Uh, I don't think I'm going to play that. Again, is it flash is a possibility. The exile targets spell, so basically it's a counter spell kind of, right? And then your opponents can't cast them again. And when it leaves the battlefield, return exiled card to its owner's hand. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> Daxos obviously helps with the devotion to white. I'm going to take the Daxos. Ooh, a Phalanx Tactics and a Hero of the Games. I think i got to take the Phalanx Tactics. I think we're going Boros. <laughs> um, Triumphant Surge is pretty good. I think i take the Phalanx Tactics, though. Hope to wield that Hero of the Games. Um, oh, Blood Aspirant. Uh, when you sack, sack a permanent, okay. So, um, But it lets you sack. Sack a creature or enchantment. Blood Aspirin deals one damage to target creature. That creature can't block. Okay, interesting. One damage to target creatures. Again, this is like Rapid Flames. You could totally do that to your own creature. Um, except that's not a... Hero of the Games is only when you cast a spell. So that would not count. So that would not have the same effect. So you would not probably want to do it to your own creature. But you could sack a creature or enchantment and make something unable to block and then put a 1-1 counter on the Blood Aspirant. I think I'll take that. I think I'll take that. Scophos obviously also works. I mean, this one, this obviously fits better in like a, a Rakdos Sacrifice Matters deck, but I'm going to take it because it's not bad. Ooh, Mischievous Chimera. 
Uh, Sentinel's Eyes is pretty good. I think I'd just take the Sentinel's Eyes. Some good, more good cards in blue, though. All, all three of these are decent. Sleep of the Dead's good. Metamized Prophecy is pretty good. I think I take the Sentinel's Eyes. Um, ooh, Omen of the Forge. I think I have to take that. Um, yep, I'm taking the Omen of the Forge. Um, okay, let's see. Oh, Final Flare. Hell yeah. You, uh, is an additional cost sack a creature or enchantment? Okay, so let me... I think we're going to end up in Boros here. It's looking pretty good. Um, so I just want to take a look. Wow, enough two drops? Okay. <laughs> um, so how many creatures we got? One, two, three... Only three in the two drop slot. One, two, three. Rester spells. So four, five, six. We need some creatures. We're a little light on creatures. We've got tons of spells. Um, could take the glory bearers. Not great. Doesn't really fit into this deck. I think we got to take the final flare instead. Even though we need creatures. Oh, there's a hero of the games. <coughs> I like Omen of the Sun, but we're going to take hero of the games. Uh, Pious Wayfair, decent one drop. Target creature gets plus one, plus one. It's only till end of turn. The Wrap in Flames is probably better. And I actually don't have one yet, do I? No. I have to take the Wrap in Flames then. And there's another Wrap in Flames. All right, I definitely need some creatures. Uh, yeah, I think. Uh, do I take the Escape Velocity? an enchantment I have some enchantments mad no I don't really have enchantments matter do I um, Ooh, I just realized flicker of fate and omen of the forge hello bounce that deal two damage again yes please uh, um, omen of the sun too same thing uh, okay I gotta take the wrap in flames I just like it better uh, another hero of the games. Beautiful. That is what I want to see. We'll take the Thaumaturgist Familiar. Might play it. I doubt it, but we might play it. Oh, baby. That is awesome. Holy crap. Perforos. Uh, so, need to have a lot of red. That's okay. Other creatures you control have haste. That's awesome. You may put a red creature card or an artifact creature card from your hand onto the battlefield. Sack it at the, at the beginning of the next end step. Red creature card or an artifact creature card from your hand onto the battlefield. Even if it don't, even if that ability isn't super relevant, I mean, um, oh, Rose's Blessing is really good, but obviously we're taking Perforos. Crazy. So, oh, another hero of the games. Just go tons of heroes. <laughs> Super aggressive. Uh, Sunmane Pegasus is very good. We already have one Daybreak, Daybreak Chimera. I don't know that I want... I don't know that I want to, but it's not that bad. But I think I want to lean a little heavier red at this point, now that I picked up the Perforos. Yeah, let's take the hero of the games. Actually, I should have taken that Underworld Rage Hound, shouldn't I? That probably would have been better. There's another <laughs> hero of the games. Hero of the Pride, I think I'll take that. That's two drop. Um, yeah, I like the Sentinel's Eyes. If a creature dealt damage by Incendiary Oracle would die, Exile instead. That's not bad, but I think I'm going to take the hero of the Pride. A couple more of those would be beautiful. Uh, what does Underworld Flayers do? One damage to each creature in each Planeswalker. If a permanent dealt this turn, if permanent dealt damage this way, would die this turn, exile it instead. One damage to each creature in each Planeswalker. It's not bad. I think I'd rather take the Transcendent Envoy here. We need some creatures. <clears throat> yeah, we're going to take the Envoy. Oof. Triumph of Anax. Until and a turn, target creature gains trample and gets plus X with lower X the number of lore counters on it. Triumph of Anax is quite good. Underworld Range Hound is really good too, though. Damn. 
So what do we got for... So I definitely play the Phalanx Tactics. Um, definitely play the Omen of the Forge. Throw the Possibilities, maybe. Definitely play Banishing Light. Omen of the Sun is maybe. Final Flare, we probably play. Impending Doom, we can play. Entrancing Liar, we play. So I think I need to go the creature. Ah, oh, I like that Triumph of Anax though. Hmm. Target creature gains trample and gets plus X plus O or X is the number of lore counters on it. So turn one, it gets plus one plus O. Two, trample. <sighs> I think I take the Underworld Rage Hound instead. I don't know. Giving giving creatures like if you if that comes out turn three, right? Turn four, then you've got all your mana up, and that just this just keeps going off every turn on every, on your turn each time on its own. So then you've got mana open to then cast something that say targets your hero, and they get even bigger. And they get trample. That's really good. Ugh. Ugh, that's really good. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to take it. It just seems too good. It just seems very, very good. And there is another Omen of the Forge. Uh, there's an Underworld Rage Hound. Sweet. Yes. Another Ra Underworld Rage Hound. That is actually awesome. Uh, I don't think there's anything here for me. Uh, take the stinging lionfish sideboard. Uh, next, oh, take the irreverent revelers. I think yeah, that can just be really, really handy. Yes, good creature. Uh, there's another underworld rage hound that is lucky, and a hero of the games. Underworld fires. Do I uh or the oread? Let's see, do I need any more creatures? We got one, two, three, four. Uh, let's sideboard that stinging. Why can't I sideboard the stinging lionfish? Okay, let's go back to this view. <clears throat> All right, what do we got? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> okay, so that's uh, eleven. Uh, no, twelve. No, 13, right? 7? Did I say 7? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Creatures plus 6, 12. Yeah. 13. 14, 15, 16, 7. That's pretty good. I don't need any more creatures, that's for sure. Let's take the Underworld Fires. Skullforce War Leader, not going to play. This deck's shaping up pretty good, I think. This is uh, this is looking pretty good. Uh, so, well, we need to cut some non-creatures primarily. So I think we take out Omen of the Sun. I like it, but not necessary. Uh, we have two Rapid Flames. We have six of the Hero of the Games, though, which makes the Rapid Flames in an aggro deck really, really good. Uh, we're going to take out the Thaumatur, just familiar, because we're probably not going to play that. I think we take out the Sentinel's Eyes. I think we take out, do we take out the Fligger of Fate, though? We have two Omen of the Forges. Ugh. That seems pretty good. Would I have any other <clears throat> enter the battlefield? Um, any other enter the battlefield? Not going to play the Thrill of Possibilities. Probably not going to play the Underworld Fires. Any other ETB matters. <sighs> Bouncing the Triumph of Anax <laughs> would be really good. Um, hmm. Yeah, maybe I keep the Flicker of Fate in for the two omens and the triumph of annex being able to reset the triumph after after like turn three that's pretty sweet <clears throat> so do i just like go hyper aggro here too and lean heavy red take out take out the chimera mate no i think i have to play the chimera do we take out daxos though 
Oh, let me just focus on non-creatures. So what do we want? I need the two, I want the flicker, I said. I want the two phalanx tactics. Two omen of the forges and the banishing light. I want that final flare too. I guess we take out... Sack a creature or enchantment. Deals five damage. Pending Doom is God, Pending Doom's quite good. Oh man. Like I want all of these. <laughs> I can't have them. <laughs> I can't have them. Uh I would take out Daxos maybe though. <clears throat> I wonder if I could go mono red. I don't know if I can. I don't think I can. That would have been nice. I feel like I have to take out... I feel like I should cut some white though. We have Perforos. Do we need the Daybreak Chimera? It's tough. This is tough. Because we could cut out like Daxos. We could cut out the Daybreak Chimera. Just keep white for like the Hero of the Pride, the Phalanx Tactics. We could cut this Transcendent Envoy. <sighs> then that would take us down to only 14 creatures. It's not really that's not really good. I don't like Daxos in this deck though. Like we don't have a lot of white and I don't love the Daybreak Chimera either. Like it's a great card, but I feel like I need to lean lean into red. Let's try it. Let's just see what it looks like. So what if I take out that? I take out the Chimera. Uh Maybe I keep the Transcendent Envoy. Yeah, I think I keep the Transcendent Envoy. That's still only 14 creatures. Is there anything else we can put in? Not really. Um, it's a flicker of fate. <clears throat> I need the Phalanx. I, need, I want the flicker. I don't need the flicker, but I want it. Maybe I'm being greedy. <laughs> um, looking to bounce stuff like Omen of the Forge and the Triumph of Anax. <sighs> How many lands do I have? 17? I don't think I need 17 in this deck. It's pretty aggressive. I think I can go down to 16. So I'm going to cut... Let's cut a Plains for now. So that means I only need to cut two. Do I maybe cut one Rapid Flames? thing is I have six heroes <laughs> and seven I have six hero of the games and and I also have the hero of the pride so like I have seven heroes which is really good hmm. that just wants to have rap and flames I like, <clears throat> I like impending doom because it's fine in an aggressive deck Creature has to attack each combat if able. Maybe I cut it though. I think I think I cut it. I think I have enough with the Rapid Flames, and do I have enough with the two Phalanx tactics and the two Rapid Flames to target my own creatures? It's really all I have to target my own creatures with is those four spells, right? So I might need more stuff to target my own target my own creatures which is why the impending doom might be a good idea just one more spell that targets my own creatures <sighs> all right let's put it in that means i gotta cut maybe i cut the entrancing liar it's very good but in this deck do i need to keep an opponent's creature tapped down i'm my my goal is to just be super aggressive Let's take it out. That's okay. So now...
maybe we take out the final flare. And just be hyper aggro. Don't even worry. We've got the two Omen of the Forges for removal. This makes us sack a creature or enchantment, which we're probably not going to want to do. Let's take out the final flare. Let's try this. Just hyper aggro Boros. Nine. Nine mountains, seven plains. I think that's good. We got a lot of cheap stuff in white, but overall, overall, I think this is good. Okay, let's give this a try. Let's give this a try. See what happens. Boros, aggro, seven heroes. We've got a flicker. We've got a couple omens. Try and bounce those. The triumph of Vanex, I think, is really good. I would, I'm really hoping to be able to bounce that. Um, see what happens. See what happens. By the way, guys, before we get into game one, um, if you guys could hit like, hit subscribe, hit like if you like the video so far. You don't have to. You're welcome to watch a little bit more. Um, but hit subscribe if you're not subscribed to our channel yet. It really, really, really helps us out. Hotfire MTG. We really, really appreciate the support. Um, so if you guys hit subscribe, like I said, it helps us out. And uh, we're going to be coming at you guys in the next uh, next couple months where we want to do a couple more giveaways because it's been, I think it's been a couple months at least since we've done a giveaway. So we definitely want to fire up a, a giveaway sometime soon because it's, I think it's been too long. I think you guys would agree. Uh, geez, we're at like a minute waiting for an opponent here. So I need to keep making conversation. Hey, there we go. All right, let's test out this. Yu-Gi-Oh is better. You are wrong, sir. You are wrong. <laughs> uh, oh, what? A draw? Did did my what the hell happened? Did my opponent disconnect? Okay, that was really weird. All right, well, I really wanted to beat uh, Yu-Gi-Oh is better's face down. I was really, really wanting to beat that guy's face down. <laughs> uh, that took a really long time to connect to a player. It usually doesn't take that long. And then we got a draw, so I don't know if that's a coincidence. Uh, let's see what happens here. Hopefully we don't freeze or have any funny business. Okay, this looks good. Jeez, that's a lot of lands. <sighs> uh, we got a couple creatures, though. Man, I don't like this opening hand, but like we got lands, right? We got four. It's more than I would like to have. This doesn't help us execute our strategy, though. This doesn't help us execute our strategy of being aggressive. I think it's too many lands. I'm going to take a mulligan. This is better. This is better. Okay, I'm glad I did that. This is definitely better. Uh, what do we get rid of? We keep six. No, I need to ditch... Maybe ditch the Irreverent Revelers. It's okay. Obviously, if we have... Oh, I like the creatures. Maybe we get rid of the Rapid Flames. This is a tough one. Because if... I can't get rid of a land. Because if we don't draw another one, we are screwed. I'm going to get rid of the Rapid Flames then. Okay, looks like our opponent also took a mulligan down to six, and our opponent is playing green. So we'll, we'll fire out a mountain. It'd be nice if I could draw. Uh, I have literally all three drops in hand, and my opponent's got a two drop, a stinging lionfish. We drew another three drop. Okay, well, all right, so our hyper aggro deck is just going to be a little slow this game. <laughs> no big deal. No big deal. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, okay, opponent's going to tap me for two. Oh, man, just more lands. Can I get a little better than that? Uh, destroy an artifact. None of those are artifacts. Banishing light. Gain two life when an enchantment enters. Just play out the hero. Play out the hero of the games. Opponent can still swing in with the lionfish. I can't really anything. I can't really block it. Nothing I can do. <coughs> so... Let me put a creature or land from among them into your hand, the rest into your graveyard. Okay. Man, opponent could be playing. Could have some good escape creatures in green or escape spells, not just creatures. 
didn't didn't find any though. He's tapped out. Yeah, I would swing with the lionfish. Cause I can't really block that. We drew another hero of the games. Hmm. I could banishing light the stupid lionfish, because it's kind of a pain in my ass right now, but I don't know if that really helps me. Do we have anything? Yeah. So we can use the impending doom. I say we just put the impending doom on the hero of the games right now. And start swinging in with it. Force him to find some... Force him to find a way to deal with it. Let's do it. I don't know if that's... It would be better to wait, maybe, until we had another hero out, get some value, but... Yeah, so opponent's gonna chump block with the Nexus Warden. Makes sense. So we got a 6-5 now that has to attack each turn. Um, an Ichthyomorphosis could really hurt, could really shut us down. There's a couple other spells in blue that could that could uh, that could ruin our day. Hmm. Let's see what our opponent comes out with though. Did he miss a land drop? I'm at four. I think my opponent went first. Did he not? Or did I go first? I don't even remember. So he's gonna think about it. Hmm. Skola Grove Dancer. Alright, so opponent is he gonna swing for two or keep a jump blocker back? Keeps it back. So does that work? No, it doesn't have haste, but it also attacks each combat if able. So I think we just swing in here. I don't think I need to use my banishing light on either of these. I'm not really worried about either of them at this point. So let's just swing in with the hero. I could have could have brought out the Reverend Revelers and given it haste. So I think I'll do that next turn. Um, let's go. Let's go the Underworld Ragehound, I guess, and the hero of the game. So let's get that out and start pounding in next turn. So opponent has missed two land drops right now. Uh, which is unfortunate and hasn't hasn't shown me any removal yet could have now well, towering wave mystic isn't gonna help him much so we're in really good shape opponents just getting a little bit um, getting a little screwed mana screwed I don't I don't really want to use the banishing light just in case my opponent comes up with something so I think I'm just gonna play at the revelers Give it haste, and I'm just going to swing in with the team because opponent's got one green up. Not much he can do with that, I don't think. No, I really don't think so. I um, think maybe he'd block the hero. I would block the hero, personally. Oh, he's just going to chump block the big hero. I would have taken down the hero, probably the hero of the games. Hey, we found another uh, found another underworld rage hound because um, my opponent made me put what two two cards into yeah maybe put two cards into my graveyard. One of them was the underworld rage hound, but we have to exile three other cards to do that. So I need one more. I need to get one more card into my graveyard. Opponent found a land drop, but he still was only able to play the Satessan champion. So now might be the time to get out the Banishing Light and just hit my opponent for 11. That'd be pretty hard to recover from. He could he could block the Irreverent Revelers. Yeah, I'm going to do it. Take out the Satessan Champion. Attack. Yeah, opponent just concedes. So he found his land, but it was too little too late. And even when he found it, he still only played out the three drops. So he clearly didn't have much else in hand. So that was nice. That was good. Good start. Good start. I thought it. we were going off a little slow there at the beginning. But fortunately, uh, our opponent was playing a, a slow deck also. And once we got going, once we got going there, um, there was nothing our opponent could do. Particularly because he missed a couple land drops. Which does suck. That sucks. <clears throat> so.
I'm glad I took that mulligan there, too. Ooh, only two lands. I don't like. I got the Omen of the Forge. Oof. If we get stuck on two lands, I'm going to keep it risky. If we get stuck on two lands, uh, might get a little screwed like our opponent did last game, but I'm going to try it. Let's take a chance. Play out of planes. Hmm. Boy, do we need to draw land. Traveler's Amulet. I could use one of those right now. Played another land. I can't even play the Omen of the Forge it, right now. It's not really worth it. Uh, yeah. I mean, I could just do two damage to my opponent's face, which isn't terrible. Come on, land. Oh, well, we drew the Underworld Ragehound. That'll do. Uh, yeah, so he can sack to sack the amulet to search. What else could he have? Nope, nothing. He's just going to sack the amulet and search for basic land. Puts it into his hand. He's got to reveal it, and it's a forest. <coughs> So next turn, uh, if I don't find a land, uh, at least I could, if he drops a creature, I could play out the Omen of the Forge. Yeah, it's not going to work on that thing, though. Uh, we could do it post-combat. Actually, it is Flash 2. We found a land, though, which is beautiful. Um, could just get out the Impending Doom onto the Underworld Rangehound. It, has to, it already has to attack each combat of Fable. Uh, Triumph of Anax also would make the Underworld Ragehound big enough to kill the Nexus Wardens, but the Underworld Ragehound would die. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna do the Impending Doom and swing in with a 6 4. See what my opponent says. He's got a chump block or take 6 to the face right now, which is pretty rough. What's, what's the Cling to Dust do again? Exile a creature from a graveyard. Oh, yeah, Exile. But you can only escape it for five others, so that's not going to happen anytime soon. Okay. So he's playing black. He could have oh, just plays out an omen of the hunt. Ah, yeah, the Nexus Wardens gains him two life, eh? Every time an enchantment enters. Which is pretty good when you just took six to the face. I think I play at the Triumph of Anax next so we found another land too beautiful um and just make the underworld rage hound even bigger and give it trample for the next few turns yeah i think we do it we push the issue i think force the issue i should say seven opponent chooses to take seven ouch if he's got some removal, that's gonna that's gonna hurt. Oh wow, a Nessian boar. Well, the Underworld Ragehound right now can kill it. Oh, I found my wrap in flames though. Ah, uh, so yeah, we go wrap in flames on these two. Hit him in the face for eight. Take him down to one. And next turn, unless he gains life, we can hit him with the Omen of the Forge. Maybe I save, oh man, maybe I save the Wrap in Flames for next turn, because if he plays it another creature, I can make all three of them unable to block. And at that time, the Underworld Rage Hound is going to get another three. So even if he gains some more life, and I can play out another creature this turn to attack next turn. So we just play out a creature. Yeah. We play out a creature... Oh, he has to attack. That was a mistake, wasn't it? I forgot the Underworld Rage Hound had to attack. So he can... Yep. Yeah. So he can take it down with the Nessie and Boar, which I think he has to. So they're going to trade. Has Trample. Gets through for a few points. I'm going to take three to the face. I can get the Underworld Rage Hound back, but no, I should have done the Wrap in Flames. Forgot it had to attack. Ugh. That was... That was a, that was a mistake. That was a hundred percent. That was a mistake, and my opponent just gained some more life. <clears throat> I think we're still in pretty good shape here, but that. Oh wow, my opponent has his own perforos. <laughs> I'd like to find my perforos. Um, <laughs> I found my perforos. Amazing. <laughs> 
Ah, uh, that is that's fantastic. <laughs> uh, so do I swing? I think I do. He's if he doesn't, he can block. I still get through for two, and I take out the Nexus Wardens. Um, yeah, let's do that. See what my opponent decides to do. Does he really want to take six? Go down to five. I still feel like I'm in pretty good shape here. Um, yeah, he's going to take six, go down to five. So I'm only on f I missed a land, eh? Be nice if I could play out an Omen of the Forge now and another Hero of the Games would be good. Hmm. I'm just going to play out my Hero, though. Next turn we get target creature you control fights up to one target creature you don't control. And that has to happen, doesn't it? So they're just going to bounce off each other, though. Well, not anymore. Now they'll... Now they'll... Uh... <clears throat> this has flash. Yeah, so that happens next turn. So if they do fight next turn, opponent kills one of my heroes. I play with the Omen Forge, then kill the Nexus Warden. Ah! -ha. All right, sack that. Hmm, I made a big mistake by uh, not attacking with the Underworld Rage Hound. That turn, that was unfortunate. But not the end of the world. Uh, play out the Omen of the Forge. Deal two damage to the Nexus Wardens. We can go the Irreverent Revelers, give it haste. Hit my opponent for two. <sighs> Still in decent shape. I can escape this Underworld Rage Hound, I think, now. Yeah. Plus, I've got Perforos that I can cast. Um, my Devotion to Red currently would be three. If I play out the Perforos. So I can make... I can make... I can make it so that Chimera can't block with the wrap in flames. Oh, and it deals one damage to it, so it actually kills the Chimera. Uh, yep, that was pretty sweet. Um, so I think I do that now. Hit my opponent for two. Or do I get out the Rage Hound? No, I think I do this. Kill the Chimera. Did my opponent draw another? Nessian boar? Really? Swing in for two. Man. Oh, if my opponent has a, ne a, a Nessian boar that he can play, <laughs> that's quite bad. Uh, please add Stampede Rider. Does he still have enough? No, he doesn't have enough to cast a Nessian boar. Oh, Incendiary Oracle. So he's got some blockers. Oh, man. So we're definitely going to play out the Underworld Rage Hound. We'll get rid of... I don't think it matters much. Get rid of the hero, hero, impending doom. Sure. Underworld Rage Hound comes out as a 4-2. So I can do that. I'll do that on my opponent's turn. No point in attacking now. Do it next turn. You play out that Nessian boar, though. Which I would just play out now. That's a big blocker. Does he have enough? What does he have in his graveyard? Five. So he could escape exile three. Yeah. Yep, yeah, I would just play out the Nessian boar. <laughs> which is a problem. Um, does that get a... Oh, it's guess 1-1 one, one till end of turn. Let's do this. Let's scry 2. Man, I need to just hit my opponent for 3. Uh, take the Blood Aspirant, sure. It's not great, but it's a creature. Just going to swing in with the Stampede Rider and the Oracle? Well, I'm not going to block either of those. Does he have something else he can play out? <laughs> I 
I could play this out. Sack a creature or enchantment. Uh, yeah. So I think I can play this out. No, I can't do it right away, though. You have to tap it. Damn it. That would be nice if I could do that right away. Sack the Irreverent Revelers. Make it so the Nessian Boar can't block. Hit him for four. <sighs> One, two, three, four. Perforos, he needs five. <sighs> How can I win this? How can I win this? I can play two, and I can still play out the Perforos. Which is pretty jokes. We both have a Perforos. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, the Underworld... Damn it. Oh yeah, this has haste. Oh yeah, all your creatures have haste. Oh. So I, yes, he just realized what I could do. I, I forgot Perforos gives everything haste. So I could have just sacked, uh, sacked one of my creatures to make it so the Underworld Rage Hound, or the Nessian Boar couldn't block. So then I would have hit him with the Underworld Rage Hound. That was awesome. Oh, man. I made a mistake there. And, whew, still managed to get there, though. Okay, that was fun. That was good. Um, I'm going to be right back. I'm going to hit pause for a second here, guys, because I really got to take a leak. Like, super bad. So, BRB, give me two minutes. Not even, because I'm going to just edit this. So it'll be like two seconds for you guys. But I'm going to be right back anyway. <laughs> All right, I am back, and yes, I feel better now. Much better, in fact. So, we are 2-0, and o, which is beautiful with our Boros aggro deck. So, let's get into game number three. Uh, see if we can keep this going. Uh, Boros aggro, like I said, uh, I played a here. I drafted a Heroes deck. The first time I drafted Theros at the LGS, drafted a Boros heroic kind of deck. And like I said, it worked really well for me, and so far... So far, so good. I am going to keep this opening hand. It's pretty good. Looks good to me. Got a two-drop Blood Aspirant, three-drop Hero of the Games. Oh, well, hello. Hello to you. So polite. Uh, so, okay. Opponent playing some blue-black control. Let's play out the Blood Aspirant. See, is there a two-drop counter? I think there is. I can't remember right now. Can't remember what it's called. But yeah, I think there is. Uh, okay, Naiad of Hidden Coves. I'm only drawing lands here, which is unfortunate. Let's play out. <coughs> play out another mountain, I guess. That's a two-three, so I ain't doing anything. Play out the hero of the games. Not going to attack with the Blood Aspirant. Hmm. If we get a few creatures out, we could get a big swing with the Phalanx Tactics. Um, if we can keep... We can give the Irreverent Revelers haste next turn, but I won't be able to cast that and the Phalanx Tactics. Oh yeah, that's a fish now. And it loses all of its abilities. Hey, I drew another one. That sets us back by a turn, I suppose, but... Well, let's blade out. No attacks. <laughs> hero of the games can he can still get buffed by this hero if I cast a spell on it. Swing with a two three. Yeah, I would just block with my hero. I mean, you can do that. That's fine. So this turn we can play out both the revelers and the hero of the pride. Can't give the hero haste. We could play out the irreverent revelers. Give it haste. Cast the Phalanx on the Hero of the Games. That's pretty big, and we can wait. Yeah. So we go this for three. That leaves us enough mana to cast the Phalanx. Yeah, I think we're going to do it this turn. So let's give it haste. Go to combat. Maybe do I want to fool? No. I'm going to swing with all of it. Go to blockers. Opponent gonna block, yeah. So we'll go Phalanx Tactics on the hero. Buff the heck out of everything. Take down both his creatures, hit him for six. Pretty good turn. That was a pretty good turn. 
<sighs> I like that phalanx tactics. Phalanx tactics. Ah, oh, one with the stars. Boo. I'll say it of life's bounty is meh. Sorry, right, swing with the revelers. Uh, get the hero of the pride out. Still in decent shape. Opponents only got one, one card in hand. So two now. Hopefully one of them's a land. Yes. <laughs> hey, probably had another land in hand. That's lucky. A um, little bit of lucky there. Well. No, not really lucky. I mean, we just we just had the cards and the phalanx tactics. <laughs> it's just decimating on uh, on the hero of the games. Hey, we got a rare. Enter the God Eternals. Okay, cool. Uh, we're three and zero. Oh. Let's <laughs> give this uh, give this another go. See what happens. Uh, so this is game four. So, good opening hand, good opening hand, I like this, Rage Hound, Aspirant, yeah, we're going to keep this, uh, we'll go Mountain, oh, I guess we probably go, see what our opponent plays, then we'll decide, oh, there's our Perforos, then we'll decide if we want to go, I think we go, I think we go with the Underworld Rage Hound. Because that'll, my opponent's, if he plays out a creature, he does not. We have another wrap in flames. So, no, the blood aspirant, that's not the one I can give haste. Uh, so, let's just, he's got something he can cast. Maybe, oh, there's a riptide turtle. Uh, yeah, nothing I can do. Nothing I can do to buff the Underworld Rage Hound. So let's just play out the Hero of the Games. So pretty big, I could get a pretty big swing with the Wrap in Flames, make the Turtle unable to block. <clears throat> he could have another Turtle in hand though. He missed a land drop, which totally sucks. Um, we could get a, we could Wrap in Flames, the Riptide Turtle, Hit the hero with it. Give them both plus one plus zero. Oh. Swing for eight. Still have another wrap in flames in hand. Why is my my camera is just freaking out? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna try it. I have two. I have two wrap in flames, so I'm gonna hit. Yes, I want to hit the hero, and submit to. So the turtle can't block, the hero gets targeted. That would kind of suck if he had another turtle. I think he, well, he might, he might not. Oh, gains hexproof. Yep, that's pretty good. Uh, yeah, so, <laughs> crap. Well, I have to swing with the Underworld Rage Hound. I'm going to lose it. What do we have in our graveyard? Just one. Just the Wrap in Flames. Uh, so now he's got a 1-6. Super fun. Super fun. Hmm. Uh, the Triumph of Anax might help. So I can make it a 4. Basically a 4-2 when it comes out. I just play at the blood aspirant. Um, damn. Just play at the blood aspirant. I don't know. Not much else I can do here. Can't attack. Need to find. I don't even really even have any removal that can deal with. Yeah, just find another land. That doesn't help. I can play at the perforos. Give everything haste now. Uh, one, two, three, so I can get some, oh, if he can counter that. Yep, there it is. And he exiles it, which is wicked. 
didn't really think about that. Didn't really realize he had three up until it was too late. Oh, man, come on. I need something better than lands. That didn't even, yeah. Um, yeah, what can I do here? Not much. Not much. Uh, play with the Triumph. We could make all... So these three can't block on maybe the last one. When it gets... We could give the hero the games. Make it six. Uh, so we'll do the hero. <coughs> no point in attacking though. Yeah. Might as well play with the planes, and opponent's got a more creatures. It's a little stuck on lands, but damn, I can't believe I should have known he had a counter in hand. Ah, uh, there's a vexing gull. That doesn't help me. Hmm. This game's going to be tough to win. This is just going to be a long game, though, because neither of us are in position to... Uh, To do anything big anytime soon. <sighs> All right, hit the hero, sure. Make it a five-two, trample. <sighs> sure, cast an underworld rage hound. Opponent's got to have a couple more counters, I would think. Um, No. So next turn, I think we do. We use the Rapid Flames. I assume he'll attack with the Vexing Gull. <coughs> we use the. We could use the Rapid Flames though to hit the hero, and make it so like the Turtle and the Naiad can't block. Ah, oh, it creates two more chump blockers. Great. Sure, that's fine. <clears throat> I could sack the Triumph of Anax to make something else unable to block, but I don't think there's much point in doing that. Hmm. Hey, there's a Banishing Light. So, plus X plus O, dude on the hero, I guess. Banishing Light, I can take out the Riptide Turtle. That's a big problem for me right now. I can't do that and the Wrap in Flames, though. That sucks. I can only do, I can only do one or the other. So I think we wait, yeah, I think we... Do we wrap in flames these three? Swing. No, I can't, like there isn't even any point in swinging, right? You can double block the hero of the games <sighs> with the with the two soldiers. At least is trample, but <sighs> maybe I do sack the sack the annex. Make it so one of the uh, and then I still have four up. Yeah, let's do it. Let's sack the. Oh, I can't. It's only a creature. Uh, sacrifice a creature or enchantment. So why can't I sack the... Oh, because I have to target the creature first. So, okay, so let's do one of these. Sack this. Put a 1-1 one -one counter on it. Cool. And then... What? Do the Rapid Flames... 
on the other three swing with the hero and the underworld rage hound has to attack too yeah so one two three it would be nice I should have maybe done that but that's okay so these both have to they don't both have to but we're gonna swing in with the hero of the games oh wow come on are you serious hey good that's good that's good we're gonna lose this one we're gonna lose this one good deck it's pretty good um yeah like he doesn't have any no bombs i haven't seen one bomb from my opponent but it's, it's just a it's just a good deck it's working against me now isn't it uh so let's go i think we go ah, that daxos is a problem but so i can play with the planes i can do yeah then i can do an underworld rage hound <clears throat> so we'll get rid of the turtle i think the vexing gull is a problem <laughs> vexing gull is a problem but we're gonna get rid of the turtle we're gonna lose this anyway i don't think uh do the underworld rage hound sure get rid of one two three so we'll have a four two underworld rage hound I cannot attack with the Blood Aspirant. Yeah, I figured he was going to do that. Ooh, Sunmane Pegasus. Yeah, we're going to lose. There's no way we win this. Sunmane Pegasus, he gives it lifelink. Another Underworld Rage Hound's not going to help me. So he hits for four next turn. This has to attack. Go to blockers. He what block? I'd probably just I don't know. I would maybe just trade with no. I would probably block with the uh, the knight of hidden coves gives him some benefit. I actually just wouldn't block with anything. Just take four. Wow. Why, why would you block with anything? You have twenty six life. <laughs> um. Yeah. All right. I think it's just about time for me to concede. Yeah, it gives the Pegasus lifelink and vigilance, right? Yep. Lifelink and vigilance hits me for four. I have no way out of this. Yep, that's game. Good game. Wow, really good deck. It's pretty good. Uh, pretty good Azorius. Only saw two flyers there, but you don't need many. Um. Okay, okay. Give him credit for that. Good deck. No, no ridiculous bombs, but just a solid, solid deck that performed well against. Uh, he was able to slow up my that uh, that Riptide Turtle. That's <laughs> like against uh, an aggressive deck like mine. That's uh, that's a problem early on. No doubt about it. I I don't like this hand very much i'm tempted to keep it we've got a couple things to play i'm gonna try it this might be a mistake probably is like technically speaking it's a mistake i think but i'm gonna take a chance because i like to take chances uh, we drew another land it's a mountain but at least we drew one uh let's go with the underworld rage hound <laughs> So at least we can play out the hero. We really need to find a planes though. I was thinking, eh, not the end of the world if we don't find a planes for the for the envoy and the flicker. But that phalanx tactics is pretty good. What is it? the battlefield of four tasks? Oh, that's not a very good card. I don't really like it. Um, may hey, slows me down though. It's actually pretty good against an aggressive deck. We found a planes, which is sweet. <laughs> Uh, so I think we just play out. Actually, flicker. I can save. My, I can get my underworld rage hound back right now. I can just flicker it. 
Is that a bad thing to do right now? Maybe just keep playing out creatures. We could do that. Yeah, we could just keep playing out creatures. So, it loses, so tap, remove a task counter. Okay. So I can, what, I can tap? Well, I can do this anytime? Yes, so I might as well do that. Okay. Uh, let's play it a mountain here. If I flicker, yeah, if I flickered, it's going to have summoning sickness, right? Yes. Uh, then I could play out. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to do it. Let's flicker it. Boom, gets rid of the Heliod's Punishment, uh, play out the Blood Aspirant, not, yeah, I would double block if I were him, <laughs> take down the hero of the games, yep, I would definitely do that, um, hmm, so next turn I have to attack with the Underworld Rage Hound, so next turn might be the turn I go with the phalanx tactics. He's got four one ones. Take out one of them with the Omen of the Forge. What uh, would I like to flicker that? That would have been nice. But he's only got a bunch of two twos. So phalanx tactics. Target creature gets plus two plus one. Each other creature gets plus one plus one. I have to target the hero of the games with it to get the added benefit. So let's go go to combat, all attack, go to blockers. I can flash in the Omen of the Forge too if I need to. Um, so we're going to go yeah, Phalanx Tactics on the Hero of the Games, so I will not need to flash in the Hero of the Forge because nothing's nothing of mine is going to die here. So opponent takes six. Those both die. I will wait, maybe get the Omen of the Forge in on my opponent's turn. Maybe he'll play another creature. That would be nice if I could take it out. Um, hmm... I'll still flash this in either way on the end of his turn. If I have to use it to just take out a soldier, I will. Not the end of the world. <clears throat> oh, he's going to scry too. All right, that's good. Be nice if I could draw something else to target my hero. Pass to attackers. Probably not really. You're going to attack. Okay, I'll play out my Omen of the Forge. Deal two damage to one of your soldiers. Uh, that's not bad. Let's go. So I can sack. I could sack the Omen of the Forge, make the Blood Aspirant bigger. I think I'd rather be able to scry later, though. So let's just go to combat, swing with everything. Uh, play out the Hero of the Games, because it's got a little more power than the Hero of the Pride. <coughs> See what my opponent's got. I think I'm in pretty good shape here. He's got a bunch of cards in hand, though, so... Pretty worried about some bomb coming down right now. <laughs> Plenty of removal in those colors, too. Plenty of removal. I don't know where all those creatures are. They... Well, okay. I'll take it. That's fine. I'm not too worried about losing either of those. Yeah, I would have taken the hero too. <coughs> well, <coughs> opponent can uh, block the Rage Hound now. Trade off with that. Do I have, I only have two cards in my graveyard, so I can't get it back quite yet, but yeah, he still has to trade off with that. 
So I can play out the Transcendent Envoy and I have to pay three to scry so I gotta play out this planes and end my turn. I'll scry at the end of my opponent's turn. I mean there's no way my opponent could, if he could take out the two heroes he could maybe survive. Oh yeah he's, huh, he gets to create two more one ones. Okay, okay. Uh, so let's sack this, scry two. Oh yeah, the uh, I get a 1-1 one, one counter. Uh, yeah, we'll take the Underworld Rage Hound, get a 1-1 one, one counter on the Blood Aspirant. That's sweet. That is pretty, I didn't realize that little interaction between the Omen and the Blood Aspirant. That's nice. Very, very nice. Uh, so we're going to swing in with the team again. Don't have much of a choice. You can block all three of the creatures on the ground they all survive he has to block all three of them because he's taking one in the air why would you double block you're gonna die you have to block all three of them yeah there you go he's figured it out now uh take one in the air all three of his blockers die so we play out no we'll just play out the regular the not the unescaped underworld rage hound so my opponent's got a sack, just concede here. I'm pretty sure there's no way out of this. Are there any, is there board wipe in white in this set? Probably, there usually is, I can't think of it. Um, choose one or both, does he have two? Does he have a, oh yeah, he can do the Heliod's Punishment, yeah. And he could put it on anything. <coughs> he could even put it on a Hexproof creature, I believe. Oh, and then he creates a bunch more blockers. Cool. All right, not bad, not bad. Well, we gotta keep uh, keep going in. So he could double block now the hero. Yeah, double block the hero, go to damage, and we'll play out one of the Rage Hounds, do the flicker, the hero, the omen, sure. <clears throat> Get the other Underworld Rage Hound as a 4-2, so yeah. I would just concede at this point, but uh, okay, good blocker, <laughs> good blocker gets described, but I mean it's not gonna, not gonna do him any good, cause he's tapped out, so that's that's game. Let's just attack. Yep, there we go. Sweet. All right, we're three and one, three and one with our Boros Agro draft deck. All right. Oh, no, we're four and one. Yeah. I thought we were only three and one, four and one. Okay. Um, let's keep this going. I don't think I even really want to look at the deck. It's pretty good. Um, yeah, I see no reason to really right now. Uh, uh, the Underworld Rage Hound's a two drop though. Just need one more land to be to be able to really go. Yeah, uh, taking the chance again. I've said I feel like I've said that a lot. I feel like my luck's gonna run out sooner or later. Well, not this time though. Not this time. <laughs> Ooh, another uh, another blue green deck. I think that's what I lost against, right? Yeah, I think my one loss is against uh, blue green. Is he playing three color? Because he's running the Traveler's Amulet. <laughs> Not sure I'd run that in a two color deck, but see what uh, see what he reveals. Yeah, so why do why play that in a two color deck? I, 
thins out your deck, I guess, but that seems like a waste of a spot. It seems kind of silly to me. Uh, so we're going to go Underworld Rage Hound, of course. Point of a one drop in blue? What does he have in blue? What does he have in blue? Hmm. What is in blue? Oh, Nexus Warden is fun. Hey, my Perforos. Uh, so I think we go Impending Doom, given that he just played out that Nexus Wardens. Nexus Wardens, yeah, I think we... I think that's the play here. It already has to attack, so we might as well, uh, let it attack profitably. Boom, takes six to the base, ouch. Uh, well, there's lots of stuff that... Oh, he is playing three color. Okay, a little trickery. Went searching for an island when he... I'm assuming he had that mountain in hand because... Um, otherwise, you'd think you'd go searching for that instead of an island when you sack the amulet. So he is playing three color. Okay, well, that changes things. Could have some... Could have access to some more removal now. Um... Can't attack unless you control another creature, power four or greater, but it can block. It can block, and the Underworld Rage Hound has to attack. And there's nothing I can do about it. Nothing I can do to kill the Warden or make it unable to block. Yeah, nothing. He'd give the irreverent revelers haste hit him for two because he's probably gonna block the underworld rage hound mm, let's just let's just attack has to attack so he might as well he has to trade that off yeah and I'm gonna take three right does he have something he can play in blue? What does he have in blue? Oh, okay. So he just returns. Nice. Nice. Uh, there is no way I can do one damage to that, can I? Damn. No, there is not. Hmm. Hmm. Crap. So what do I play out here? Play out another Underworld Rage Hound, I guess. <sighs> and I don't have a two drop. Hmm. That was a good play. That was a good play. I forgot about the stern dismissal. I was like, what does he have as a one drop in blue? Stern dismissal. Yep, yeah, might as well swing for one. And I'm not going to block that. <clears throat> so next turn, you know, we're going to go... He's got to know we're just going to get the impending doom out again. Oh, maybe he can counter it, though. He probably can. Do I want to play something else just in case? Got five mana... Hmm, damn, damn, damn. Let's just, uh, I can only play out one of any of these. <sighs> yeah, let's play out the hero of the games. <clears throat> okay. Uh, yeah, the friggin' Underworld Rage Hound has to attack, so now he kills it. So I maybe should have gone the Impending Doom, but I felt like he's had to have been able to counter that. <clears throat> well, yeah, the Warden of the Chain, that's pretty good. Hmm. Perforos can't... It's less than five. Man. So even if I play out every... Oh. Oh. It can... Fight off the Warbriar Blessing, even though it can't attack. Hmm. 
Ping me for one. <laughs> ah, land is absolutely not what I need. Play with the irreverent revelers. Oh man, can he can he Z of counters? Sure, give it haste. He's got something, cause um, he's pausing every time. So, ah. so I I have to attack, and it has haste, which is <laughs> which is great. Well, uh, at least uh, at least they'll just bounce off each other. Uh, unless he's got something else. There's another stern. Oh, Starlet Mantle. That's good enough. Damn it. And I take three to the face. Awesome. <laughs> uh, there's no way I'm going to... Oh, Brine Giant. Now I'm screwed. There's no way I'm going to get my Perforos online. Oh, yeah, because that lets the Warden attack with the Brine Giant. Uh, yeah, there's no way. Absolutely no way. Uh, yep. Yeah. Let's get rid of these three. So I could, if he swings with the brine giant, I have to kill it. Um, I could even kill the warden of the chained. Okay, so do I kill the brine giant if he doesn't have, because then he can't swing with the warden next turn if I kill it. But I feel like I want to kill the warden of the chain. But then he's still got a 5-6, at least, yeah. If I if I kill that, and he's gotta have something. Okay, okay. So, ooh, we're down to three. So he can't attack with the warden unless he plays at another four power creature. He gets to draw. What's the oh the voracious typhon is a four power, and he can escape it as a seven seven. Um, exile four others. He's got five in his graveyard. Sweet. Ah, uh, we pulled out a banishing light. <laughs> Take out the warden of the chained. Ah, oh, there's still no way we're getting out of this. Because he can play with that voracious typhon. No, actually, no, he can't. It costs him seven to escape it, right? Ooh, Loathsome Chimera is pretty good, though. <sighs> and he pings me for one with the Nexus Wardens. Creature or land. Pretty good three color deck. <clears throat> Nightly is Forerunner. Yes. Yes, you're going to put that into your hand. <laughs> really good card. Especially in this situation, it's, that's gonna that's gonna win you, that's gonna win you, the game probably. Uh, do I just wrap in flames? <laughs> um, I've got three cards, so I can I can play out the I can play out the underworld rage hound. Gives me a blocker. Right? I've got, oh no, three includes both the Underworld Rage Hounds. Okay, let's kill, kill the Loathsome Chimera. Uh-uh. Take that, Nexus Wardens. Pew, pew, pew. Yeah, we're going to lose. No question about it now. I've known that for a while. Oh yeah, gives it haste. Good game. Damn, we're, what, four and two now? Ugh. Ugh. Uh, yeah, four and two. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna take a look at my deck now. See if there's anything I want to change out. Um, Trancing Liar would be nice. I am lacking a little bit of removal. Um, Thrill of Possibility would be decent. Card draw is always really, really nice. Final Flare isn't that bad. Final Flare would be helpful when I get in those get in those uh, longer games when I've just got a bunch of small creatures that can't do anything. Sack one of them to 
help me stabilize a little. What would I get rid of those? Is there anything like I don't like here? Maybe I take out the impending doom. Problem is I don't think I ended up with enough spells to target. So I have seven heroes and I don't know if I have ended up with enough to target them. Hmm. Maybe I should be running that Daybreak Chimera. Hmm. Too white though. I don't like it. Every time I played this Impending Doom, it just... Obviously always the problem with enchantments right enchant a creature they take it out right and then you take three to the face when it dies which also sucks it's like a lightning bolt to the face i could take that out put in the final flare sack a creature or enchantment Hmm. You know what I'm gonna keep it the way I'm gonna keep it the way it is. Uh, Alright. Gotta get to five here. Gotta get to five. Six, I think that's the point where you uh you basically pay for your basically pay for your draft. Uh this is not very good, but I think it's just barely keepable. Two lands, blah. Opponent's thinking about it. So at least I've got Hero of the Pride. I've got the Omen of the Forge I can play out. So. Ooh, opponent mulligan down to five. That is pretty brutal. That's pretty brutal. Hell, hello. Hello to you too. Might just get lucky here. Opponent took a mulligan down to <clears throat> down to five. Let's have something he can play though. Mm, decides not to. So playing really, you took a mulligan down to five, and you have th all three of your colors. Hey, I drew a land when I needed it though. I drew a land right. I actually didn't. It wasn't super crucial that I draw it right there, but but the Reverend Revelers this turn is nice. Give it haste, swing in for four. That's pretty good. Opponent's got something he can play though. Just have no idea what. Oh, he's gonna take four. So we have a hero and we have two Phalanx tactics in hand. We also have a Wrap in Flames. Um, I have two omens. Hmm. Um, that thing has death touch, which totally sucks. So I don't think think maybe I don't waste. Hmm. Yeah, the death touch is pretty terrible. Did he pitch anything good to his graveyard? Nothing with escape. Um. Yeah, if only I could play both those omens, just kill that Hierophant. <clears throat> just gonna go to combat here. I could still flash in an omen. Ah, alright. He didn't he didn't block the hero, which is nice. So gonna phalanx tactics on the hero of the pride. Kill the venomous hierophant, do five damage. That's pretty good. Wish I had another creature. It sucks losing a creature when you only got two, but hey, four three. It's pretty good. Um So again, if I if I Phalanx Tactics again, gets plus two plus one. So it's a 
four three, so it's still gonna trade off with that Huntmaster, which is quite unfortunate. At least I got an Underworld Rage Hound. <sighs> hmm. I don't really want to wait to try and draw another land, but I also don't really want to I gotta hope I draw another land so I could play out two omens take down the hunt master I don't want to give my opponent another chance to draw another creature or removal but I don't think I could force the issue there okay that's not bad that's not bad we're good uh, land here would just be beautiful really I can't even flash in an omen. <clears throat> Interesting that my opponent opted to swing with the Huntmaster. Um, yeah, we well, we do the Phalanx tactics again. He's going to block the Underworld Rage Hound with the Caryatid. So we do the Phalanx tactics, means the Underworld Rage Hound survives. <clears throat> and we buff the hero with a pride again. Come on, does my opponent have one spell in hand to get him out of this? No. I think the only thing is he can tap the Karyatid. Does he have something? Does he have something? Oh wow, plus one, plus two. Okay. So, I still lose the Underworld Rage Hound. All right, all right. That's pretty good. Oh, and he drew another creature. Wow. Fancy that. All right, we drew a land. Um, do I use both omens on the Huntmaster? I don't want to like I really don't want to but I feel like I kind of have to <clears throat> yeah let's do it hunt masters is really really nice I have to get rid of it <laughs> I have to get rid of it now I'm gonna attack I'm gonna give him the option to trade off with it because I've got the hero of the game still in hand I can now get the underworld rage hound back and fortunately he did not draw anything so and I pulled another wrap in flames so let's go if I do no let's do the rage hound then do the hero phalanx irreverent sure So Underworld Rage Hound comes back as a 4-2. No creature. That's beautiful. Um, let's just ping my opponent for 4. Play with the hero of the games. I think we're in business here. He's got 3 cards in hand now. But he hasn't played a creature. Good game. Ooh, all right. 5-2. That was a little nerve-wracking for a bit, but we are in business. Five and two. What card did we get? This is Triumph. Blech. Ah, five and two. Come on, give me to six at least. Get me to six so we can get enough gems to pay for this draft. That would be awesome. That's like the best you can hope for. At least get enough gems to pay for the draft. If we get to seven, that's gravy. Gravy train. This is a pretty good hand. Yeah. Yep, can't complain about this hand. Um, a hero of the games would be nice instead of the Rap and Flames, probably, but um, I will take it. All right. So, play with a mountain. We go turn two, Blood Aspirant. Blood Aspirant's. 
Oh, another wrap in flames. Oh uh, no, we're gonna play with the Rage Hound. Blood Aspirant. Blood Aspirant's decent, but at the same time, it's just a 1-1 one, one for 2, right? Yeah, he's got the Unknown Shores. Ooh, that's unfortunate. Um, so yeah, swing, hit my opponent for 3, because like, he has to tap the Swamp to add one mana of any color. <laughs> so he must not have had anything else to play out. I should probably have played the Hero of the Games there instead of the Blood Aspirant. Not sure why I did that. I had the land to do it. Oof, that's fortunate. So, uh, non creature, non land. Uh, so, ooh, non creature, non land. Non creature, non land. That means I gotta use this Phalanx Tactics now. Reveals that you choose a non creature, non land. That player discards that card. Yeah, so we're just. Opponent's tapped out. Doesn't really matter when I do it. Swing. Use the Phalanx Tactics. Might as well make it a 5 2. So now my opponent can only take one of my Wrap in Flames, which is fine. <clears throat> then next turn, he exiles my graveyard. Hmm, so still not in amazing shape. Would have been nicer if I'd had that Hero of the Games out. And I said I should have played that. Um, and yeah, the Elspeth's Nightmare would not have killed the Hero of the Games, so that was kind of a mistake. Didn't really know it at the time, but I should have played out the Hero instead of the Blood Aspirant. That would have been better. Nothing would have died to the Nightmare, and I could have used, could have got better use out of the Phalanx Tactics. Ah, uh, well... I think we're still in okay shape. Let's see what our opponent plays here though. We don't have much in hand. Really, we're just riding on a one toughness creature at the moment. So we're on thin ice, so to speak. The Underworld Charger is pretty good. Uh it can't block though. <laughs> um Underworld Charger cannot block. Good times. Well that's good. That's good because uh, we're hitting for six next turn and that thing can't block so he's got to get out another blocker <clears throat> and even if he gets out another blocker we can wrap in flames trigger the hero um, I don't think we can get to lethal next turn but if he gets out another blocker hit it with the wrap in flames trigger the hero oh we got another hero that's really nice. Uh, so we will not use the Wrap in Flames. Swing for six. Yeah, you think he's he left all his mana up. You think he's got something. He could have the Riptide Turtle. Oh, makes me sack a creature. Uh, I guess I gotta get rid of the Rage Hound. Yeah, get rid of the Rage Hound. Hit opponent for three, get another hero of the game's out. So we got a wrap in flames now, which means I mean I've I've got lethal on the board. Regardless, wrap in flames, I can hit each of my heroes uh, to get another another four power out. Oh, there's another hero of the games. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna swing though. Uh, see if my opponent's got removal. I'm not going to use the Wrap in Flames yet. <coughs> see what else my opponent has. Before I go doing that, another Ferreca's Libation. All right. So hit the opponent for three. Play out another hero of the games. I think he's got a third Ferreca's Libation. Could have, I uh, can't remember what it's called, that spell that gives a creature minus three, minus three. But now he's got to have another... Yeah, he's, he's got to have two pieces of removal or two blockers or something. So, hey, we're up to silver. All right, so we are, we're at f five wins, six wins. It's down to this, down to best of one. It's either seven and two or six and three. Let's do this. Come on, Boros. Come on, baby. We've had we've had pretty good luck with opening hands so far, and good luck when we've had to scry. Hopefully, our luck, uh, knock on wood, doesn't run out here. We've had pretty good luck with hands. This is pretty good. 
Um, only one creature, but this is pretty good. We can go turn two Underworld Ragehound into turn three Impending Doom, which is nice. Hopefully opponent's not playing something with a lot of removal, like white, <laughs> like that. That's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'm sure he has none of the white remo or blue removal. I'm sure he has nothing that he needs to shut down, <laughs> to shut down my uh, my underworld rage hound. He, I'm sure he has nothing. Um, are there any counter? Are there any two drop counters? <sighs> Do I just play out the triumph of Anax, buff the underworld rage hound, swing with it, hang on to the impending doom? I think I'm going to. If he's going to counter, if he can counter, I think the Triumph of Anax. It's certainly counter bait if he's going to do it. Doesn't. What could he have a flag? Ich, does Ichthyomorphosis have flash? I think it does. Oh, doesn't play anything. All right, that's good. So we got another land. We've got an Omen of the Forge. If he were to... If he were to cast, he could have like a Vexing Gull to cast on my turn. So we're just going to go to combat. This is pretty good. I'm surprised. Opponent's got to have something. Okay, so we can create two 1-1s. One <clears throat> um, I have no way of saving my Underworld Rage Hound here, do I? It's going to die. If he blocks it only with one, though. <laughs> yes. Blocked it with only one. Underworld Ragehound survives. Gets in for five. Play out a mountain. Sweet. That was nice. I was like, if he only blocks it with one, I'm going to kill it, and my Underworld Ragehound is going to survive, just so you know. That was nice. Um, and I can play out the Impending Doom next turn so that the Underworld Rage Hound will be really huge. Um, it'll be like a 9-4. Nine, nine, and yeah, <laughs> yeah, opponent's tapped out. We're going to make the Underworld Rage Hound a 9-4. Has to attack. It has trample. So we're going to hit our opponent for eight. Ouch. Uh, yeah, that's nice. And then next turn, we just make the Underworld Rage Hound fight the Naiad and swing for lethal. Opponent's got to have, like, it's got to have, what, a Banishing Light? Banishing Light's three. Now he's got to sit his fourth land. Yeah, Dreadful Apathy. That'll do it. <laughs> That'll do it. Um, oh, but I still get to fight. I still get to fight the Naiad, right? I do. They still fight. Exile target creature enchant. Oh, flickers it. Nice. Okay. Yeah, and he got to do it for he got to do it for one because of the uh because the Naiad lets you lets you cast spells for one less. <clears throat> uh, so we are just going to play out here with the games. I think we're still in pretty good shape. We do another hero of the games. He can't remove it. We make the Naiad unable to block with the Wrap in Flames. Flavored of Aroas, that's okay. That's okay. Um, yep, just play with the hero of the games, just bide our time. If he gets another blocker out next turn, we can wrap in flames. Um, if he's only got two blockers, then we wrap in flames. Both blockers and our own hero. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. Now he's got a bunch more blockers. And he gained life, right? Yeah, gained two life. That's nice. That's quite nice. I can play out, if I had one more land, I can play out Perforos, though, and Perforos is turned on. 
which come on give me a land favorite of oh yes yes indestructible seven six what up now um and he's gotta block these heroes <laughs> gonna block yep that's fine 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 oh not fine kind of stupid that's okay I can turn on perforos next turn ah oh, he gets two he really another own ah uh, yeah gets two more one ones gains two more life oh favorite of Aroas double strike ooh Hit me for three. Oh man, now I'm down to set. Okay, well that was a. Uh, <laughs> I have to play at the blood aspirant. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I have to play at the blood aspirant to give to turn Perforos back on. So I should not have attacked there with the hero of the games. I should have just left Perforos turned on. Uh yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do our own flicker. Sorry, bud. Uh, I lose the impending doom though, don't I? Yeah. Lose the impending doom, which means. Oh really? Oh, it has haste because of Perforos. Damn it. Has to attack. Creature, creature can't block this turn. What can I do here? What can I do? Nothing. I'm gonna nothing. I'm gonna lose. <laughs> Damn it. I should have left Perforos turned on. Damn it. I don't think I've I don't think I have a way to this now. I don't think I have a way to out of this now. Favorite of Aroas has oh man, gains to really? All those how many omens? Oh how did he get the omen back? He already had two of them out. I have to block, otherwise I die. I'm still dead. Damn it. <sighs> you know what? I've only I've literally never played, never actually played with one of the gods. And uh so that was that was just a rookie mistake by someone who has never played with one of the gods. Uh should not have attacked with the two heroes. Because I had to leave Perforos turned on so it could attack the next turn so just rookie mistake could have got to seven there too i think could have got to seven um he yeah man brutal oh so that's how he's getting this the shimmering chimera yeah, as it bounced the omen hmm that's a nice little Nice little combo, because it enters, he bounced the other one, play it again, bounce the other one. Well, we got to six, so we got enough gems to pay for our draft, but yeah, that was a that was a rookie mistake by someone who, that is the first time ever, um, ever, in not just Theros Beyond Death, but first time ever, I have got a god turned on, able to attack or block, because um, I was not playing back original theros and i have not i had one i had a heliod in one of the pre-releases that i played um but i actually never got it turned on so that it could attack or block so that was my first time rookie mistake ah well we got to six so still pretty good went six and three with the boros deck um i should have taken a picture of this deck list before um before this ended because it sucks that you after as soon as you get to three losses or six wins you can't see your deck anymore that really annoys me i wish i'd taken a picture of the deck anyways hotfire mtg i hope you enjoyed this draft boros aggro got us to six wins can't complain a couple of mistakes on my part though so i'm gonna have to clean that up going forward not gonna do that again anyways 
hot fire mtg hit like hit subscribe guys we really really appreciate it gonna try and get a couple of more of these drafts up real soon because they're fun say what you want about this set but it's uh it's a fun draft set. i'm enjoying it so far so let us know how you guys have done um what archetypes have worked for you that's all i got later guys